Bucket 5s and the board comes Jack 7 5, we're going to be smelling blood. So if I say to you guys in chat, do you smell it? Do you smell that? Can you smell that too? You have to tell me. Yeah, I can smell the blood. Um, so yeah, should be good. And uh, I'm just joking around most of the time. Most people who know me in in real life, not when I'm hiding behind the camera, you know that I'm like pretty softly smoke, softly spoken. I'm pretty chill. I don't like to shout or be loud. But my personality is actually like, I, not I'll go into anything, but like I like to joke and I'm very laid back. So you're going to see me basically how I am when I'm playing. We're obviously playing for huge amounts of money here. 450, 485,000. This is life changing money, you know, for, for, for everyone in the field. Um, so I will show emotion at times. I'm not going to be fake. I'm not going to be like saying bullshit. I'm not going to be uh, trying to be someone I'm not. I'm just going to be, if, if I want to say fuck my life, I'm going to say fuck my life. If my mom's watching, which she probably is, apologies for the the language in advance. When I play poker, I'm, I I usually have a, a non-PG mouth, let's say. So yeah, hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully my microphone's working. I'm still not going to know for another few minutes. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. I like to sing a lot. That's a big problem. I like to sing a lot. And because I like to sing a lot, it means that I you may hear me singing some like Ain't no river wide enough, like some Marvin Gaye, but I also may throw in some like UK grime or some wretch. Okay, interesting. We have a new table. So this is an interesting table. We have, we're playing six handed. So there is a table of seven, a table of seven, a table of seven, and a table of six. We are going to be the table of six. So this is okay for me. Um, these are two players who I know. These are some players who I don't know too much about. So this should be interesting. See what happens. We have 75 million and the big blind is going to be 1 million. So we have 75 big blinds. This guy's 36, this guy's 51, 40, 25, 45. So if any of these guys double up from me, they're gonna cover me, right? He's gonna have 72, I would go to 36, so we're gonna flip stacks. He would have 100, I would go down to 25. He would have 90, I would go down to 30. He would have 50, I would go down to 55-ish. He would have 80, I would go down to 30. So definitely something to, to look at that i'm just going to tweet out tweet out that we are live and kicking first hand queens if i lose this hand i'm ending the stream if i lose this hand we're ending the stream okay and a raisin we'll take a show from the small blind fat free 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 We will take a shove from our guy. Strong hand, straight in. Sun runner. This is how it this is how we do it. We always have monsters. We get called. We flop pretty good. This is gonna be a board where I'm gonna have some pretty big bets on. It's a board where I wanna maybe put pressure on an ace high, or let's say I have a hand like queen nine of spades, I want queen queen to fold, clean out my top pair outs. So I'm gonna put a big bet in here, 3.5 million. We don't mind a call, we don't mind a fold. We don't really want to see a raise, but we don't mind it too much. Get called, turn jack, interesting. Going to put another bet in here. Half pot, still get called by a flush draw, still get called by a six, still get called by a four. You probably won't raise a jack. Our hand means, if we had aces, we would check, allow him to hit the queen of clubs or something. Um, see what happens. We don't want to face a shove, that's for sure. I don't think a jack will shove, so not too concerned. A four is a pretty bad river. You could have four X of clubs as well. So you can have a hand like four or five of clubs or something like this. Um, so I'm going to check back this river, hopefully win. Oh, that's what we thought he had. Big blow straight away. We would be up to 90 million almost. So that's a very, very unfortunate river card. Very unfortunate river card.
get free bet here. We're going to fold. So yeah, very bad start. Very, very bad start. But we're still, we're still second in chips, but winning that first pot would have been so crucial, of course. Um, winning that first pot would have put us up to 85 million or 90 million, very commanding kind of chip lead. And yeah, it's okay. Bad things happen, so that's what it is. Five All right, so we're definitely live now. There had to be some problem, technical stuff, like we spoke about, but it is what it is. And then we're back, we're composed, we're gonna play, and everything should be good. You guys smell, so that's good. You guys smell, smell the blood. You didn't miss any action. Pocket tens here, good hand in the big blind. Let's see what's going to happen. We'll just defend passively. I don't want to get 60 big blinds in here. If there's a free bet, it will be interesting. We have a big hand. Raising the call, I think I'm going to just call, if I free bet and face a shove, we're not going to get it in very good. And if I free bet and they fold, it's not that great for us. I'm just going to call, flopping the set would be pretty good. We start flopping the set. It's a dangerous board. There's some King Jack, some Jack 8, some Pocket Queens. They're probably not going to put loads of money in with, say, Ace Queen. So this guy should do lots of checking because he has lots of overpairs. Aces doesn't want to put 50 million in here. If he has king queen, he doesn't want to put 50 million. He wants to just play quite slow, quite tricky. Uh, I think I'm going to check the turn. Um, or do I bet the turn? I think I'm going to bet the turn. Hands like king queen are going to check again. So I want to get money in against these hands. If they ever had like pocket fives with a club, they're likely going to um, they're likely going to just fold or and check back. So I don't allow them to realize the equity for free which is quite important to me. I have a pretty good hand. I unblock the queen. When I have two tens, they're more likely to have a queen. We wouldn't really want to get face to get raise here, but shouldn't face too many raises. Oh, well, that's a very bad, a very bad river card. A very bad river card. His queen jacks get there. His ace jacks get there. His pocket eights with a club get there. His ace ten with a club gets there. So we're going to just check fold. You shouldn't really have many nut flushes. Like ace of clubs is most likely going to bet the flop, like ace five of clubs or something. Um, but you may check it back sometimes. It's reasonable. Doesn't want really to get check raised from me. You shouldn't really value bet a jack. A jack isn't strong enough to value bet. So the question is, is he going to bluff something? If he's bluffing, he has to have a pair without a jack. So he has to have like ace queen, which didn't free bet pre flop, which didn't bet the flop. So. Yeah, it's quite unlikely that he's going to have a bluff here. I have a lot of hands with a flush. Like, I have jack of clubs, eight, ace jack, ace of clubs, five, that I would bluff the turn with. So I have a lot of nut flushes here. I don't think I have to call this hand. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Just watching back now on the stream, I have pocket queens. But yeah, I mean, this is kind of what poker is. You come in with, you know, big expectations. You have the chip lead. You get queens. You lose a big pot against 7-4, you have 10s, you pop a set, you know, like, it just, it is what it is. No need to get too emotionally invested in it. You have to run good, you have to deal with the run bad. Uh, jack 6 off here, 50 big blinds, I'm going to just start with a limp. I don't think we need to make the bot huge with such a bad hand. Uh, he checks. Uh, I think starting with a check call is good, because if I bet the flop and he calls, I have to check most turns. 
And when I check most turns, he's going to just take it away. So if he has a hand like 9-5, he's going to call the flop and bluff the turn. And I have to fold a hand which does really well. So I'd rather go for a check call here. If a 5 comes, maybe he represents a 6. Um, interesting turn card. I guess we're going to go for a check. River Ace. So if we're bluffing here, it would be for him to fold a 4. Because he's most likely going to check some two or three. Um, I think our hand is pretty weak here, and we should most likely want to bluff. So I'm going to go for a bluff. People don't really like the fold versus me, but we're going to go for a bluff here of around about 51, 5.1 million. This is going to be a size in which I can value bet an ace with here. Uh, so I think betting big makes sense. I'm going to have a lot of 5x. If I have jack 6, I'm going to have jack 5. If I have Jack five, I'm going to have queen five, etc. He has a hand which quite a good hand to call with. He flopped two pair. Uh, he blocks some full houses. He doesn't block any bluffs with like a six or with uh, yeah like a jack six or a queen six. Um, so yeah, good call from him. I'm going to raise the queen five. And no stress, no stress at all here. This guy goes for the call from Netherlands. Big blind is from the UK. See how it goes. Get shoved on. I don't think we've won a hand yet. But yeah, let's see some hands. We have the tens, jack eight, fold to a free bet, fives. So on the last table. King eight, I'm going to keep raising. Have good hands to raise with. I'm not getting out of line here. We see a raise from DVP. And he has 30 big blinds, I believe, that we should just fold our hand. Maybe free bet king queen off or king jack off or something like that. Um, uh, yeah, it's okay. We have a good stack, 40 big blinds, all good. People suggesting that I should check the turn with pocket queens, but we are going to get a lot of money in against the four with the clubs, or a six, or pocket eights, or pocket sevens, or a sex of clubs, etc. So betting the turn here is going to be very standard. We get in a big bet, very good, very often. Yeah, we put in, we end up putting in twenty five million with you know such a good hand. Uh, so I don't think checking the turn here would be very good. But yeah, it is what it is. You know, if you finish 25th, you finish 25th, you just have to take the rough with the smooth, for sure. Uh, Ace and off, obviously going to raise. I'm going to just keep up the aggression. I have good hands. I'm not getting out of line. Just trying to play good poker. These guys seem relatively active. Everyone is playing quite a lot of hands. We'll play against the big blind. I think he likes to play pots against us. Not a great board for us. He's going to play this board quite aggressively. So let's say he has a hand like ace five of hearts. He's probably going to just check shove. So when I have ace 10, I don't want nine, 10 or like a jack or like five, six of hearts to shove. So it's a hand which I want to realize a lot of equity with. So for that reason, I'm going to check back here. Turn a 10, which is pretty good. I can definitely call a turn bet. He may bet queen 10, king 10, 10, nine. King, queen, ace of hearts, nine, ace of hearts, seven, whatever it may be. He checks the turn. I'm going to put a big bet in here. I don't think he's going to raise me very often. And it's a hand which I want to check back on the river very often. So because of that, I want to put a big bet in. He should bet a jack on the turn himself pretty often. So I'm going to put a big bet in now. I shouldn't get raised very often. And he's still going to call with like eight, nine, queen, eight, king, eight, ace, eight, queen, ten, king, ten, ten, nine. Ace of hearts four, king of hearts four, hands like this. And if we get a fold, it's not the end, it's not necessarily the end of the world either. Pocket fours in the big blind. We're gonna play this one. On the other table, we have an all-in and a call. Ace jack against ace queen. You smell the blood? Oh, we we smelt the blood too early. We smelt the blood too early. Pocket fours against an open here, just gonna be an easy call. Too many chips to go in with, 46 million. Uh it's a hand which plays pretty well. We're going to flop a four and then maybe we can smell some blood. We do not flop a four. We flop very far away from a four. 
He's gonna have some checkbacks here, like a nine will check back, not one to get check raised. A ten may check back, not one to get check raised. Ace eight may check back, not one to get check raised. Uh, versus this bet, we're obviously gonna fold. If he has a hand like ace eight, he has four sevens, four queens, and uh, three eights, three aces. So he has like at least fifteen outs to hit. Plus he can bluff on a king, etc. So uh, definitely gonna fold my falls here. Watching back the pocket tens now. Uh, King five suited, gonna just go as a limp, like the jack six off before. No need to put in a big pot right now. He had auto fold on, which is kind of interesting. Um, so he was gonna fold versus any raise. Uh, I'm gonna check here. I can call a bet. Uh, I've backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. My overcard king should be pretty alive. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna call this bet of around about half pot. I turn very good, so any eight, any three, any heart is really strong for us. I can call any bets here. He could be betting a worse hand, like nine, ten of diamonds, or jack seven, jack eight of diamonds, whatever it may be. Um, interesting spot on the turn here, if we want to raise or not. We don't want to get shoved on, that's for sure. But I think, I ha I think he's opting to have like a seven or something like this. So we are going to put a raise in. We have a hand which is a good semi bluffing hand. Um, we are going to make him fold a hand like King Seven. Yeah, this is a really good bluff on the turn. Uh, I have a read. I have, I have a pretty decent read on some of the players, and I feel like when he bets his size with this Timon, he's going to very often have a seven. He bets a flop with a seven, small. That's the turn with a seven. I think our hand is probably not good. We want to put big pressure on him. So by raising, we can make him fold a hand like. Jack seven, even if he has a hand like queen 10 and he faces a 7.5 million raise, is he happy? Oh, we have a sweat, boys. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna raise the king eight. There's an all in down here. Queen six against ace eight. Queen six wins. Drink. The blind levels have changed, apparently. Going to continue raising these good hands. I've had good hands every time. Stay composed. You know, has, it doesn't matter. If I have 75 million now or 50 million, who cares, right? There's like, there's like 600 million in play. So having 75 or 50, it doesn't matter. We need to get 600 million eventually. So small little bump, it's all good for me. Take it down, continue the aggression. Often you win more chips when you have worse hands. It's kind of weird. When you have good hands like pocket queens or pocket tens, loads of big bets go in there. But when you have um when you have uh kind of medium hands like five, six suited, you don't really lose a big pot. You win lots of small pots, you maybe win a big pot. It's hard to lose a really big pot with that kind of hand. If we look at the payouts here, we can see now there's 25 left. If two more people get knocked out, we get 2,000 more. So there's gonna be a pay jump for a lot of these players. The biggest cash a lot of these players have had is like $5,000. So a $2,000 pay jump is definitely very big. Um, so yeah, you can see here that I have my course, Pads on Pads. This will be coming out in a few weeks. No details just yet, but it's going to be called Perfecting Analysis Decisions and Strategy. Whilst we're in a small pot here that we're not in, 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 if you go to the About Me, or if you go to the description of this video, you're going to see that I have a UK, a UK YouTube football team called Newcastle Independent. If you go there and subscribe, we'd love to see it. The stream started badly. We've lost 25 million chips. We've lost with queens. We've lost with a, a flop set of tens, but... I'm staying positive, we're all good. All I need you to do is go to the description, subscribe to Newcastle Independent. All it takes is two clicks. Click on the YouTube channel, click subscribe, and that'll be doing us a really big favor. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of um, the end of the year. So there's two or three days to go, and we're not far off our target. So if you can get there, that'd be very, very nice of you. Um, big pot here between these two guys, and we're gonna be in the big blind. Let's have a sweat. Oh, we have Jack Free. 
Sometimes I like to look at my cards a little bit like this, peel across, see what we have. Next time we'll do it. Next time we'll do it. Jack Freehoff, he should be opening quite tight into me, uh, as I say that he raises, but I don't have to defend Jack Freehoff. If I had Jack 7, Jack 8, Jack 9, Jack 10, I would call all of these hands, but Jack 3 just, it plays so badly, right? If I flop a 3, I'm never going to have top pair because you, it's impossible to flop top pair with a 3. Uh, this guy shoves. This guy should be opening somewhat tight, I believe. So, you know, we're going to see an all-in and a call here pretty often. Not often, but at least somewhat frequently. If he's opening, say, a 40% range and calling 10 or 12%, it means 20% of the time proportionately. He's going to flick the call in here, so that's interesting. Um, four three suited in the small blind. We will go with a just a, a call against the big blind here. Playing quite passive. When you're out of position, playing quite defensively makes sense. You're not going to have position for the whole hand, so you want to play a little bit tighter. We're 9 out of 25, but you can see it's so tight. Between, yeah, I'm just going to play this hand, but between third place and me, it's six six big blinds. It's basically nothing. So um, definitely going to call the 4 3. If he raises, I'm going to call. He's going to raise the high cards. So like King Queens, I'm going to check again, play quite de deceptively and defensive out of position. He's going to have the high cards like King Queen when he raises. So limp call in 4 3 is going to be pretty good. He bets again. He's bet every single time that I've checked to him so far, which is interesting. Definitely going to call here, have a pretty good hand. Can turn quite well. That's turning decently well. Do you, do you smell, smell that blood, boys? Do you smell that blood? Oh, find another bet. Uh, we raised him last time. Do we raise him again? I don't think so. I don't think so. We probably don't have the best hand, but uh, I don't want to get. I don't want him to go all in and have to fold such a strong hand. So I'm going to just call. I'm going to sweat the river together. Let me just pull this across. Let's sweat it across. Is it a diamond? No. Is it a five? It's a jack. We don't like the jack. We don't like the jack. He has six nine. He bet the flop with six nine. Unfortunately for us, well, fortunately for us at the time. And then he bet again on the turn. So that's 11 million chips we lose there. I have a really strong hand on the flop and turn. Can't do anything about that. He definitely did smell the blood. He definitely did smell the blood himself. He, he smelled 11 million, 11 million blood there. Thanks for all the nice comments in the, in the chat box. You guys are all so positive, which is really good to see. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. This guy likes the bet, huh? He likes the bet on the flop when checked to 6-9. Not too good of a hand, uh, but he, you know, makes some sense for sure. Uh, here I'm going to go for a fold. Ginge Poke asking if he had auto check on there potentially when the guy checked in the big blind. Yeah, that definitely is possible. I think more likely they have auto fold on. Or oh, if they have auto check on, it means they don't have a strong hand, I guess. Eight six off gonna be folding. See, I don't, I don't raise the, I don't raise the the bad hands, just the good hands. On the other tables, we can see there's some action. You're gonna see a raise and a free bet from this guy from Germany. See what happens here. Can just leave it in the bottom right. Somebody asking why I don't use a hood. I don't think hoods are very good. I don't think they're very useful. I think if you use a hood, like my screen right now, it feels super clear. Like obviously when this table's up, it doesn't it doesn't feel clear, but I feel very clean, you know, like not not myself, but the table. The layout and the structure of the table, it feels very clean to me. It feels like if I had a hood hovering over everywhere, I think it's not good for me. And I don't think it's good for you guys either. Like it's not nice. I don't like watching people who have hoods all over their screen. And when I play, I like to be in a good composure, have good mindset, be chill, be composed, be calm. So because of that, I think it's going to be good for me to have no hood, no? Feel the emotion, feel the energy, rather than feeling some stats which aren't really even that necessary or helpful. We have two folds. See what the small blind does here. 
could face some free bets from him. No. The big blind, I think, may come along and call from Greece, but it's fine if he calls. We have a strong hand. Nut flush draws, top pairs, C bets, position, initiative, etc. We don't want to face a shove, of course, because we'd have to fold, but if he just calls, that's okay. He does shove, which we don't like to see. There's a pay jump coming up, so again, should be playing. People will be playing quite tight, but my hand's a good hand. Suited Ace playing six handed here. We love to see it. Uh, I will be defending King 8 versus a min race. Plays quite well, you know. I'm going to flop some top pairs. Going to be against hands like Ace Jack, Ace Queen, Pocket Sevens, etc., which my hand is fine against. We're going to be getting a pretty good price, you know, they're usually going to min raise to like 2.5 million. So we have to put 1.3 in there to win, you know, like 6 million, so it's okay. Uh, we will just be calling passively here. This guy's raised the button 3 out of 3 times, it's something to note. My hand isn't too bad of a 3 bet bluff. We can maybe make him fold King Jacks, King Tens, King Nines, but it's a little bit too strong. So I'm just going to go for a call. We don't flop too well, no pairs. If he did raise with like ace five or button raise with a hand like queen nine, he's flopped a pair. We have no backdoor flush draw, not really a straight draw going on there. So our hand just an easy fold. Even if he bets 1.2 million, we would fold here. He goes for 2.2 million, which is third pot, which is what you're going to see quite often. We're going to just, uh, we're going to go for a fold. Queen 7 off in the small blind, we're going to play against our friend quite passively here, see how it goes. The goats in the chat, you love to see it, UTG for the boys. We are going to go for a fold with the Queen 7 off. Uh, if I had Queen Jack, I would call or free bet, but Queen 7 just very weak. Uh, no reason to play. When there's action on the other tables, I will show it. This guy is betting five big blinds, which is going to be... You don't get to see it in big blinds for some reason, but it's going to be... Let me pull it up. I'm going to fold the 9-6. Again, I would fold any 9 here. Pretty bad hands. So, yeah. We are left with 25 players. If one more player gets knocked out, we go down to three tables. So. Uh, yeah, one one more guy gets knocked out on any table. We'll go down to the last three tables, and then there'll be eight players on each table. Ace Queen, I'm definitely going to play this one. If the small blind goes all in, we will call him because he should be going all in with hands like uh, Ace Jack, Ace Ten, King Queen. He may have a pocket pair. Uh, I'm raising from late position. This guy raises. Uh, I think it's his first raise so far, but I know he's not too tight. Um, I don't want to go all in with Ace Queen, but I definitely want to play it. It's a strong enough hand to play, so I'm going to go for a call. Um, if the small blind shoves, I will still call him, like, he will still shove ace-jack, ace-ten suited, king-queen suited, pocket sevens, pocket eights, uh, you know, maybe ace-nine suited, squeeze, whatever, so I'm not gonna love it, but I would definitely call if he goes all in. The big blind shouldn't be playing too aggressive here, should be mostly calling. This guy's been quite tight, there's no reason to get out of line here. If he squeezes and this guy goes all in, wow, this is a big shove. This is a big shove. I wouldn't really have too many big shoves here. Like, if he has ace king, why go all in? Like, you want to give me a reason to maybe go all in with ace queen, right? Like, if you have pocket tens, you're only going to get called by a better hand. Um, I like to squeeze non all in probably here. And it's maybe okay to bluff a little bit sometimes, but I'm not too sure what he would go all in with here. Um, Jack six will fold though. And yeah, ace queen, I would call if there was no ICM. So if this was just a start of the tournament and a guy goes all in, I will gamble with him with ace queen. He's going to have like pocket nines and he's going to have ace jacks and ace tens and stuff like this. But at this stage, he's not going to be as aggressive there, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, I mean, again, just, you know, some misfortune. It's completely okay. Again, to be, to be at this stage of a tournament, first of all, is just uh, very very fortunate to be the last 25 players out of 37,000. It's just so, so lucky to happen. This guy is all in with 9-8 against King Jack. And again, we see aggression from the small blind here. We're now in 10th place out of 25. So 
we have 37 million, but if we double up through anyone, we're going to have 74 million and be right at the top as well. So, you know, no worries, no worries, all chill, all chill, chill. If these two guys went all in against each other, they'd be playing, they'd be playing a 120 million chip pot, which is pretty crazy, right? And this guy looks like he doesn't want to fold. He four bets non all in, which is crazy. This is very interesting. Quite a large sizing. If the small blind is very polarized, so the small blind either has really really good hands or really bad hands. So you should never call this four bet. So if you want a more efficient size, and you can maybe make it 16 million, 17 million, 18 million, 21 million is quite big in position. You risk more money than you potentially need to. Because small blind shouldn't have king queen suited here, right? Small blind should have aces, kings, queen. He calls. Well then. I smell blood. I smell blood, guys. We smell blood. What the hell does the small blind have? Aces? It feels like aces. Ace queen suited, maybe? That would make some sense. Wow, he has aces. Small blind has to have aces. What the hell does this guy have? We smell blood. This is crazy. What does he have? He has queens and he's like, wow, this guy has aces. The small blind has to have aces. Nothing else makes sense. Like jacks, maybe jacks, something like that. Queens and kings are going to be all in pre-flop. So it's like. He's tanking. So he has to have something, right? He can't have nothing because he would just fold, not use his time bank. Okie dokie. I mean, I guess he has queens or kings and he's scared of aces, but you have to call off queens or kings now. The pot's just too big. Does he have like ace, ace jack and he's like thinking he has to call, or thinks it's a flush draw. He's looking for the pay jump maybe because it's a big pay jump at 23. He folds. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is wild. This guy, this guy is a wild guy. He's been going crazy against us and now he got his hand. He got his hand caught in the cookie jar. His hand was caught stealing there. That's 100%. That was 100%. And maybe you guys think I'm just salty because he's won a few pots against me. Himalayan salt. Not an ad. Not a hashtag ad. No, no link in the description. We want the big blind to not go all in. He just calls. It's good. Not a bad flop for us. Not a great flop. Of course, he's going to have some 7x. I'm going to use an, effi an efficient size in here. So I'm going to use a size in which makes him fold 10, 9 and jack 8 and stuff like that. So I'm going to go for a slightly smaller than third pot size in. So I'm just trying to target folds. So when he has a hand like jack 8, I'm just going to try to make him fold to this small size in 1.45 million. Uh, and yeah, if he raises, I'm going to just fold. Yeah, that has a 7 or a flush draw, which obviously I don't do too well against. Um, so yeah, I think this is a good size in. Quarter pot. We don't want to see a raise, that's for sure. We see a raise. Right in time. I don't I don't smell the blood. I'm not sure about you guys, but I don't smell the blood. Do you guys smell it? I don't I don't smell any blood here, so we're gonna let this one go. Down to 33 million, which is fine. We have We're still in 11th place, a lot of short stacks. You can see there's a lot of players just holding on. We, I'm going to raise again, um, but we're now down to three tables. Somebody got knocked out. Uh, Rodrigo from Brazil got knocked out. So we're down to three tables now. And yeah, this, I may get three bet bluffed here very aggressively from King, but I don't have a good hand to four bet. I want to have an ace if I four bet all in. He knows I've been raising very wide. Wow, this is a small size and... Small size and a position. Kind of like it though. Do you smell the blood? I don't smell it, guys. I don't smell the blood. Do you guys smell it? Problem is, there's a delay in the chat, so you guys can't even tell me if you smell the blood or not. I don't see it for six minutes. 
I'm going to fold this one now. I think it's fine. Good spot for him to go after me there, though, that's for sure. Jack 8, I can defend if somebody raises. And yeah, see how it goes. If it goes raise, re raise, we're obviously going to fold. If someone shoves, we're obviously going to fold. This guy raises, and he should be very, very tight. He hasn't played a hand yet. He's a small stakes guy raising in our big blind from early position. I think this is a spot where we can preserve and play quite tight and fold such a good hand like Jack 8. So I'm going to go for a fold here. I think it's pretty tight, um, but I think it's a good fold. I think it's, I think it's a good fold. We'll wait for a better spot. Down to 25 big blinds. Oh, we have fallen. The stream run good. I thought that was supposed to be a stream run good. I don't see any stream run good here. It looks like a stream run bad to me. I'm going to shove all in here, blind versus blind. He has 17, 18 big blinds. I think if I shove, he will have to call very tight. I have a hand with high cards. If I limp and he shoves like Queen Jack onto me, that's a big disaster. So I think blind versus blind here going for a shove is going to be the best play. Puts the most pressure on. We have a raise from our guy here, and one more player has been eliminated. So, uh, see what happened. Just pull this off to the side for a second. Um, yeah, we can see pocket eights against ace queen, all in preflop. Pocket eights won. You can see how important it is to win. How important it is to win your all ins in these situations. Like the next time I'm all in, I'm either gonna go up to z I'm either gonna be zero, which is 23rd, or I'm gonna be 56, which is top five in chips again. So like uh yeah. Raise and a call from these two stacks. They should be quite tight, tight range. Like he's not gonna just call with a bad hand, right? So early position versus early position, they should have pretty good hands. Just watching these three guys play. On the other table, not much going on. I can just show small pots going on. I'll pull it up if anything interesting ever occurs. We are 14 out of 23. Completely okay. Completely okay. The next page up is at 17. So people don't need to play too tight now because it's going to be six people away from the next page up. The next page up is $4,000. So don't need to play too tight here. People will be playing somewhat loose, I guess. We're just chilling. I wish I could have some music on. I don't want to sing, you know? I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to sing. I don't want to sing, but maybe we have to sing. Should we put on? Should we put on some? Whilst nothing is going on here, let's just put on some wretch. Let's put on some. Let's put on some good luck tune here. Yeah. Wow. Lately, death's been getting ever so close. Feeling spirits while I'm driving. I should get me a ghost. Growing up, they know the difference between the road and my home. Now I'm grown. I'm trying to buy every home on my road. Taking away been over rich. I need a chef to come and live with me. Last time I picked up a pot, I nearly killed a fiend. I don't see a pot and wrap it out and that can mirror me. When I gave my kidneys to these kids, they must be kidding me. Yeah. Remember playing Operation? Yeah. That's how I feel about these compilations. Forget the next door. We smell the blood, guys. We smell the blood. The big blind is tanking. We smell the blood. Big old pot here. 100 million chips he has. If he wins this pot, he has 110 million. If he calls, he has 130 million. That's a massive chip lead. Gets the fold anyway. Um, Wretch has to go into the background. Maybe if we have some... Oh. All right, next hand, 100%. We're going to sweat it out. We're going to sweat it out the good way. Just folding the 6-5 off. If I had like 200 million, maybe I would raise, but... At this point, I need to play pretty, pretty chill.
We have a limp from this guy with 13 big blinds and a raise from the big blind. Typically, if this guy had a good hand, he would just go all in, right? So it's a very good spot for this guy to be aggressive because if he has king x or ace x or queen jack or pocket twos, he's going to be all in. So when he limps, he usually has like six, seven offsuit or eight, five offsuit, maybe like nine free suited or something. So it's a good spot for the big blind to be very aggressive here. On the other table, we have an all in and a fold. Everyone seems to be playing very cautious on the other tables. I have the table where everyone's playing fucking bananas. But on the other table, uh, someone's asking about payouts. Uh, I'll show it again. I just showed it, but 17th gets 11,000. Then we have 16,000 for 13th, 23,000 for 11th. And then final tables, 32, 45, 63, 89, 125, 175, 246, 346, 485. On the other table, we have an all-in over here, we may see a call because Ego is going to be quite tight raising in this situation. He's one of our friends. The pink tag is the friend tag. Oh, we get to sweat it out too. I think the first card's an ace. I just feel that. Oh, the first card's a king. Oh, we have it. it was so close. We didn't get to sweat it, but we have a good hand. We're going to go for a raise. The blinds have just gone up. That's why we've gone down a bit because the big blind is 1.4 million, it was 1.2 million. Um, this is quite nice because the big stack is in the small blind. The big stack can't just go all in on us because he has the big blind to worry about. So the small blind shouldn't play that aggressive. He should play mostly calls, some free bets, but not too many. Uh, we definitely don't want to face a re-raise here. We have a hand which is a good hand, but doesn't want to face a raise. And we definitely don't want... The big blind's going to go all in or fold here. He's not going to free bet none all in. Um, we flop pretty well. We shouldn't get check raised here ever. So, like... He's going to shove ace, jack, free flop. He's not going to check raise, like, pocket five. Pocket fives will just slow play. So we're going to start with a bet. We can maybe barrel the turn, see what happens. We don't mind just a fold now, but we could also bet the turn. We would love to see a 10 on the turn. Oh, can we sweat it out? We surely don't get raised here. If he raises here, I'd be very, very, very surprised. We'll call if he raises, I guess. All right, let's see the turn here. We have a club. Three of clubs. Do we just shove it in here? Do we just shove it all in? He's gonna have some flushes, which isn't too great for us. We're gonna bet a size in, which essentially is gonna make a five and like jack seven fold. So I'm gonna bet 4.2 million, which is three big blinds. And the target here is to make him fold a hand like seven five or jack eight, maybe even an ace seven or something. So we're gonna bet 4.2 million. We have a lot of flushes, we're gonna have ace jack, we're gonna have pocket fives, we're gonna have ace five, we're gonna have ace three, we're gonna have pocket threes, maybe not, probably gonna fold pre-flop. Um, but maybe we'd open, who knows? We don't wanna face a shove, but if we face a shove, he just has a flush, and he may even have the nut flush. That's good. Get the bell out. Finally, some positive momentum here. I'm not even sure you can hear. I've like I've that may be really loud. Did I just put you guys to death? Wow, we have a really good hand here, King Queen suited. I'm gonna call. Going to call. People shouldn't really do too much shoving. We're gonna have pretty tight ranges. This guy's a short stack in the big blind. Uh, but we need to be quite careful. He's raising from under the gun, but our hand is very, very strong here. He's going to raise Queen Jack and King Jack as well. Don't shove, my friend. We do not want to face a shove. Oh! He may reach shove. Don't have a nut flush. He may go all in with aces with no spade. Aces, no spade, all in. Oh, baby, we're all in. We're all in. Don't have the nut flush. Don't have the nut flush. Come on, don't have the nut flush. By the way, you see these socks? You see these socks? Let's go. We're all in. We're all in. Don't snap us off with ace of spades. Tank call. Be drawn dead. Be drawn dead. Be drawn dead. No seven of spades. Let's go! We smell the blood! We smell the blood! The patience! The composure! We absolutely love to see it! We absolutely love to see it! We're back in the game!
We're back in the game. We're back in the game. We're back in the game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's go. Let's go. We smell the blood. We absolutely love to see it. We absolutely love to see it. Come on, boys and girls. We're back in the mixer. Three out of 20. you got to believe. You have to believe in this game. I tell you guys all the time. It's about morale, it's about energy. That's what poke is about. Keeping your morale high, keeping your energy high, the rest takes care of itself. Let's go. Not a bad hand to free bit fold. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna regain some composure, you know, we're gonna regain some composure, chill out a bit, hood up, a little bit of Wilson Nishaw, bit of, bit of chill vibes. Not much running, just a little bit of walking, taking a few people on. Be be there for the big pots. We absolutely love to see it. We absolutely love to see this. And now we're gonna chill. I'm chill. Back to the Wilson Nisho. Back to the Wilson Nisho. Just been sent. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Just gonna oh, pull something over. We can see here. Oh, we're fucking things up. We're not gonna show. We're not gonna show. Do we have this? Yeah, we can see here that when I bluffed the ace, the king five, our opponent had ace three. So we managed him to fold a better hand, which is pretty good for us. Let's chill out a bit. Let's chill ourselves out a bit. Gonna raise your screen. Don't want his face to show. It's like 15 big blinds, we'd like him to just fold. It's okay. We don't want to see a free bet from this guy either, really, but we're gonna probably continue. He's committing himself against the big blind. Okay, we get it through. Nice and chill. These vibes are more my vibes. Nice and chill, no sweat. No sweat. King A's here. He should be raising pretty tight because he has, to, he has to call off this guy. He's probably going to raise quite tight to me. The button's a really good player. I'm going to just fold this hand. We have a break in three minutes. Come back, reevaluate. We'll fold now. Ace King against Ace Jack all in. Ace King against Ace Jack all in, and we're down to 19. Let's go. Getting closer and closer to that final table. We have deuces. It's a hand which we can pull. 
You don't really want to play a huge pot just yet, reduces pre-flop. It's a hand which you maybe want to play a big pot after the flop. Um, so I'm probably going to go with the call. This guy should play quite tight, he's just doubled up. Big blind surely doesn't squeeze again. It's a good start. It's a good start. I'm going to do a lot of checking here. I'm going to do a lot of checking. Like, I'm not going to bet ace-5. I'm not going to bet queen-jack. I'm not going to bet king-queen. I'm going to do lots of checking. So I'm going to check deuces as well for some kind of balance. Maybe he bluffs the turn or the river. Um, this is a good turn. Loads of flush draws get out there. He's going to bet ace-king himself, ace-queen himself. He's going to bet some big bets. He's going to try to put pressure on my weak ace-x, on my jack-x. He's going to bet ace-jack. He's going to bet ace-5. So we're going to go for a call. No, this is a bet. We're not going to raise just yet. He bets big, which we're fine with. He's going to have ace-king. He's going to have ace-queen. He's going to have loads of stuff. A call. It's not a great river card. He is going to have some flushes. He's going to have some aces, some jacks. But, you know, he still has ace-5. He still has ace-jack. He still has ace-queen. We don't have many flushes. So when he checks, we're definitely going to value bet. If he bets himself, we're obviously going to call, um, as long as he doesn't go like all in or something silly. He bets half pot, we have an easy call. He's going to have pocket jack sometimes, but we just beat enough hands. This is a massive pot, guys. Let's hope we win this one. Let's go! We love to see it. 110 million. Let's go. Let's go. 110 million. If we bet the flop, we would have got big value too, but you know, maybe it would have been kind of dicey. Bet, bet, betting, you know, like spades come in, you're still gonna have aces and jacks, still have some queens. Like, it's okay. I'm very, very, very content. I think checking the flop is good with, you know, with our range, etc. So, if he had a bluff, you know, we would catch him sometimes. This time he had his queen, it's okay. Do you see, by the way, how Wretch changed all around for us? What a fucking legend Wretch is, by the way. We get a race through as well. Come on, boys and girls. The last 10 minutes of that energy. I'm going to take a break now. Do we put some wretch on? What do we put on in the break? Okay. In the break, what are you going to do now? You're going to go and subscribe to Newcastle Independent. Go to Newcastle Independent YouTube channel. The description is in the... The link is in the description. Go subscribe. I'm going to go have a drink. My lucky socks. Do you see these lucky socks? I'm... I'm, I'm my, my legs, I'm an, I'm embarrassingly not flexible. That's why I don't play for the football team. But just trust me, I have some, some baller socks on here. Anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes. Let's fucking go.
All right, I'm not doing meditation, not doing yoga on the break. We're still, we're still back at it. It's, still, it's fucking freezing here, I swear to God. It's absolutely Baltic. It's absolutely Baltic. All right, let's put some fucking Wretch 32 on. Sorry about my language. You know, sometimes I like a bit. Let's put some Wretch on in the break. We're resuming one minute, so. YouTube, don't, don't suck me off. Let me, let me have some music. How much of my fans might just not buy my new stuff? We've all got bars, but nobody hears a brew. I'm bringing sandwich to the beach. I'm in a hobo finding tuna. This is nonsense. Past tense. I'm a rap genius. I've passed since. So if you ain't got a true one and you ain't free to, you got to graduate before you pass. Wretch, we got off on the wrong foot because you half step. Meanwhile, I'm getting restless because I can't rest. 21 hours on the way. The other three, I'm in the day is writing what to say with my last breath. Can you not hear the difference? All right, all right, I'm composed. This guy's going. Sorry, Charlie. We are now two out of 19. We have 110 million. The guy in 19th has 19, 13 million. So there's a lot of short stacks going on. The next page rim is at 17. So we get 3,000, we have 4,000, $3,000 more if two people get knocked out. Um, so it's something to take into account. The other two tables I have up, I'm going to show you if there's any big pots. I'm going to fold this one. I'm just going to pull this down. Let's go. Big old hour. This is a big old hour. You know, Newcastle Independent, if you haven't subscribed to them, I would definitely go and subscribe. But we have some big hours in football matches. You know, usually we don't start off so well. Hughesy starts shouting at the players. Half time comes. 15 minutes before half time, we book our ideas up a little bit. Then there's a big second half after Hughes's inspirational speeches, after Chubbs has got up them. So this is now the big hour. This is an important hour. Probably going to be down to 12 players after this. Wow. We have Nolan here of 10 2 against Ace 8. And the ace eight doubles, which is not bad for us because this guy's a good player. You always want people to get knocked out, though. Even if it's a worse player or whatever it may be, you always want to get the pay jump, that's for sure. Eight four off. We may get a walk here. We may actually get a walk. Am I get, well, that's that's not a walk. That's not a walk. By the way, I've also heard, I've also heard that you can't hear my bell. I have like sound compression knocked off. There's a there's a bell here, and it's fucking loud. I'm telling you, it's 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 a really loud bell. So to me, this is ringing my ears. But you know, we like it. We like it. Queen five off. Obviously, just folding. Play a little snug here. Brutal for this guy. This this guy disc. Right. Okay. So this guy's disconnected. Look how nice this guy is. This guy's disconnected. He could steal his money and he doesn't do it. He limps. Interesting. Good to know later on. Let's go. Let's go. It's fucking freeze. It's Baltic. It's absolutely Baltic in here. I'm literally shivering. I'm gonna have to go put on like a Canada goose or something. Like I'm actually freezing here. Don't have like heater on because then it's too loud. <sighs> but it's alright. We're not gonna moan. We're not gonna moan. We could be in a worse spot. Uh, on the other table, our guy who they're playing very slow. Like our pots are boom 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 boom. Their pots are so slow. It's like. Taking their time, taking all the time bang, which is something to take note of, you know, like people are going to, if you think about the page jumps here, the difference between, say, third and second is $100,000, you know, it's like multiple years salary. So it's like, 
you understand why people would play tight. I'm not going to hate on people for playing tight in these kind of situations. It's okay. These guys are playing slow as well. We don't really like to see so much slowness going on. Um, yeah, we don't really like to see so much because, you know, for you guys, it's not fun to see people playing so tight. So I need to find some ways of making it a little bit more entertaining. But, you know, I don't want to be a stand-up comedian here either. Okay, we're going to sweat the hand out here for you guys. First card is always good when you do this because you always get a sweat. Jack is good. Jack is good. Another Jack. Be careful what you wish for. The Michael Jackson. Do we... Do we put some Michael Jackson on here? Spotify, allow me. Allow me, Spotify. We may get some Michael Jackson ready for future, future, future all-ins. Jackson 5. All right. Oh, I may get, I may get banned from YouTube if I put some Jackson 5 on. I'm sure that his team have the uh, stuff copyrighted. Nice that you see we have some coaches in the chat box. Do not change. Do not change. I like it. Give me advice. You know, like I'm I'm fine with that. If you if you're in the chat box telling me I should have done something differently, even if I disagree, like you're doing it to I'm sure you're not doing it from a negative standpoint, right? You're doing it from a way way trying to help me, which is fine. Like it's completely okay. I'm not saying I'll definitely agree or whatever, but I'm happy to hear your thoughts. No problem. So don't give these guys shit. If someone wants to, oh wow. Ace, king, and sevens. Wow, he's got a queen, a king, and ace. A queen, a king, and ace, or a heart? The queen of hearts for our friend Igor from Russia. One of our actual in real life friends, for what it's worth. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. So that's good for him. 10-5 off. Interesting note about 10-5 off is if you have any straight in poker, you always have a 10 or a 5 in it. So if you have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it has a 5 in it. If you have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it has a 10 in it. If you have 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, it has a 10 in it. If you have 10, jack, queen, king, ace, it has a 10 in it. You can't have a straight without a 10 or a 5. So it's a deceptively good hand because you're always going to have a blocker to a straight one way or another. So 10, 5 suited is a powerhouse, an underrated powerhouse, that's for sure. Someone's asking what my biggest cash is. My biggest cash is 1.6 million. But that was in a 25k buy-in. This is a 109 buy-in. And first place is 4,500 buy-ins. So like 25k divided by 1.6 million divided by 25k is like 65 buy-ins. But this is 4,500 buy-ins. So it would be the biggest tournament I've won in terms of a multiplier to the buy-in. So yeah, kind of more love in this one almost. And what I like about this tournament is that Everyone can kind of relate to this tournament. Like anyone can play this tournament. Like I know one hundred nine dollars a lot of money. Like even to me, one hundred dollars is a lot of money. But you know, like it's not that big of a stretch. Like you could maybe pull it together, or you could maybe get someone to stake you, whatever. So for one point five million, uh, so for one hundred nine dollars, this is a tournament which anyone can play. And there was thirty seven thousand players who played. So anyone who's in the chat, you guys could could have played this tournament. Many of you probably did play this tournament. So. I prefer to speak about these tournaments, and in my course here, Pads on Pads, I have basically recorded this tournament from the very start, so I have the full footage. So in the course, I'm going to basically be breaking down what I did, why I did it, etc. for every single spot. Um, but yeah. Queen 5 off. This guy should play shove or fold mostly against me in the big blind for 12 big blinds. Um, so I should get a walk here quite frequently. He shoves, which is okay. We're gonna fold. We would call with, say, maybe Queen Jack, maybe King Queen. Small blind, is he tanking? Is he trying to get a pay jump? What's going on? Does he have a hand? Does he have a decision? I am reading the chat all the time, by the way. I'm not always replying, but I'm reading it's, uh, it's just over here. So I'm reading it all the time. It's just next to the table. You just can't see it. I appreciate everyone who's in there talking and getting in the mixer. We do love to see it. Up oh, the goat for the goats in there. 
Uh, if this folds to me in a small blind, I'm going to go with a limp. That's what I've been doing so far, all the time. They have good hands with bad hands. Defensive out of position. If I was in position, would be playing more aggressive because I get to see what he does after the flop. But after the flop, he gets to see what I do first before he acts, whereas I don't get to see what he does. So for that reason, he has a bit of an advantage. So I'm just going to play very defensive, just lots of calling and uh, play like that. If he raises, this one's going to be quite close. Could call if he goes small. He checks. I'm going to go for a check. This guy loves to bet. This guy would bet his ante if he had top pair. So I'm probably going to just check. He's probably going to just bluff with 9, 5, and I'm going to fold. That's fine. It happens. I have lots of hands which can continue, like a 10, a 4, a 6. He loves the old half pot. The classic half pot from Eldarian90. If you look into the dictionary, should we look into the dictionary half pot definition? Maybe it has his picture. One second. Half pot definition. Let's see. On the other hand, half pot definition. We have to go to images. Is that Eldarian? Eldarian. Well, it's poker, actually. It could be. Is it, where is he from? Where is he from? Netherlands. Is this a Netherlands article? PFR. I think this may be Eldarian. This may be Eldarian over here with the half pot. The half pot image next to the definition. Uh, Cram66 looks like a female from Germany who plays live poker, which is interesting. Um. This guy's using all this time bank, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend. See, I have a hand here, which is really pretty, right? You look at this hand and you're like, wow, 6-7 suited. But it's a hand where you want to play 6-7 to crack aces. So when you're trying to crack aces, you want him to have 100 million too, because if I crack aces once in a while and fold a lot of the time, I'm going to lose 3 million, 3 million, 3 million. But if I crack aces when he has 100 million, I'm going to win 100 million. So the risk reward is not really worth it there. We're down to 18, by the way. Someone just busted. Ace-10 against ace-queen, and the big stack from Brazil chips up. The rich get richer. Jacob knows about the Canada Goose strip. So we're at 18 and there's a pay jump. This guy is going to call an all-in. There's a, Oh, wow, we have, we have an all-in and a call. We have an all-in and a call, and there may be two all-ins and calls. We're gonna, if, if, if this guy loses, we have a pay jump. Imagine you have pocket sixes, a guy calls and it comes king jack five. You absolutely hate to see it. But you've got the old king queen, you don't mind it. This guy just calling out of 75 million. Someone asking me to stream cash games on the side, you absolutely degenerate. This guy is... Taking all his time bank. He really wants that $3,000 pay jump, which is fair enough. I would want it too. He really wants that pay jump. He's going to wait. He's been waiting. There's another all in. Ace 10 wins. Come on. You can't take all your time bank, dude. This guy has more time bank. Oh, he only has 18 seconds. There's a, there's a face off. A 35 second face off and a 13. He has to call. He has 10s. Diamond. Oh. We play it down and probably one of the best players left as well. And we have another call. Sevens against Ace Jack. Sevens loses and we're down to 16. Final two tables. Let's go, guys. Let's go. They're dropping like flies. They're dropping like Cramlet in town against the goats. They're diving. They're all over the place. Crammy Town are not happy. Crammy Town are absolutely not happy. We don't know what this is. Subscribe to Castle Independent. Next week, there's a fiery match. Fiery, fiery Saturday League Geordie football. So who's just joined us here? We have Pila. Pila from the Netherlands. Ego, our friend from Russia. And BBY Win from Canada. This guy's from Russia. This guy's from Netherlands. This guy's from Germany. This guy's from the UK. So we have an international flavor here. Have the other table, which I can pull up anytime. Oh. Something just happened. Hope we hope we're still live. We are, I guess. So I'm gonna call here. We have King Free suited, which is a really good hand. We don't need to go too crazy, but we can see a flop. Do we do the old? Do we do? Do we do the old? Last time we had King X of Spades. The old something something kind of did okay for us. So we're gonna do it again. All right, boys. Ah, very bad start. The Ace of Hearts. Things you absolutely do not want to see. You absolutely do not want to see that. I'm going to check. He's probably going to always bet, and we're probably just going to fold. 
Maybe he bluffs us with the 7-5, or who knows, but it is what it is. He checks. I don't think he should check here. I'm not going to play this flop aggressively. So when he checks, it's very suspicious. Why would you check the flop? If you have pocket jacks, you still get value bet against 9 and 8. If you have pocket 4s, you can make me fold king 3. Very suspicious check here from him. Maybe as like queen 9, which really doesn't want to get check raised. But I'm not going to check raise here too much. Or am I? Very bizarre player here. What does he have? What does he have? We're not going to bluff. I'm not going to bluff, but... Could we chop? King 7 chop? Jack 9. Yeah, it felt like he had something like that, right? When he checks. Someone asking, oh, whoa, whoa, we have an all-in. Ace 9 against Ace 10. We have a chop pot. You know what to say. Everyone loves a chop pot. Uh, someone's asking how much my course is going to be. I'm not sure just yet. It's probably going to be around about five, six, seven hundred dollars. I think there's too many courses out there which are like one point five k, two k. Like it's too much. I think I want I want you guys who are watching who play like one nines to be able to afford it. I know like five hundred dollars is a lot, but I'm gonna have a hundred videos. It's like a hundred videos. If you watch a hundred videos of me, and it's five hundred dollars, it's five dollars per video, which is pretty good value. You know, like. I heard on OnlyFans you pay like $20 a month. So if you guys are subscribing to 10 girls on OnlyFans, $200 a month, that's 2K a year. This is $500 for Patricio Leonardo with his bell, with his Himalayan salt. You know, I, I don't think that's a bad deal. I really don't think that's a bad deal. I'm gonna fold the free two. Expert opinion here, expert analysis. Bogdan Runovich in the chat, you love to see it. I have some stories about him on a Barcelona beach, but I cannot go into it right now. Save it for the book. Someone's asking for cop uncopyrighted music. Fuck that. That music's dead. You don't want to have copyright music. You, I, 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 it's, but you would rather me sing or rap or grime or whatever you want me to do. Gonna fold. This guy's really taking his time, which is it's fine. 16 left, remember. 16 left. The next page jump is at 13, and we're going to get five thousand dollars more if we make the 13th place. Someone asking what Keith Smith asking when I'm playing at Aspers next. I'm currently in London, so no time soon. By the way, I'm not berating any players. Like, if it ever feels like I'm being nasty to someone, I'm I, I, I'm being positive. There's nothing. There's no berating about any of these guys. I have no bad will. They're all playing good poker, etc. So, there's not. Don't think I'm being negative or spicy or whatever. I mean, I'm maybe a bit spicy, but not negative. That's for sure. People asking to see the stacks in big blinds. I like to say I have 97 high stacks of society, but I have 61 big blinds as well. Low key. Somebody asking me what I think my risk premium is in this point of the tournament. I would say relatively substantial. We have some action here. The big blind check called, turn check check, river. Gonna have some five, like five four, five three, five two, it's five, queen five, five five, king five of spades, etc. The other table, we can see that there's not much going on. By the way, do you see something pretty crazy? Look how many chips we have on our table. We have a hundred. If you look at this, this is this is pretty insanity. If you look at this, the the second in chips is on our table. The third in chips is on our table. The fourth in chips is on our table. I'm on this table. The seventh of chips is on this table. We have all the chips on this table. This is like ego with a little value bet. Go on, ego. Little value bet on the river. Pocket nines. Wow. Big call. Someone asking me again if I play without HUD. I do play without HUD. I think it's, I don't think it's good to play with the HUD. It doesn't give you much benefit. It has a lot of negatives. So yeah.
someone asking me about what I think about players from Brazil. Depends which player from Brazil, I guess. Some very, very good. Some spicy. Spicy isn't always bad. Unless it's on Indian. I do not like spicy Indians. I'm more like lamb biryani, no spice. Two butter naans. That, that'll do me. Ace Queen off, I'm going to go for raise. If this guy shoves, we can, or girl shoves, we can maybe call. They're not going to shove, it's too much. If this guy shoves, it's kind of dicey. 20 million. I'm going to go for a raise. We will be able to do our favorite trick, hopefully. This guy was kind of spicy before. Calling with the nines. I may have to call this as a shove. Didn't go all in quickly, so probably is an ace king. Ace king just like quickly goes all in. All right, we're probably gonna have to call this one, I think. I think we're probably gonna have to call. What do you guys, do we smell blood? I'm not loving this, but it's 13 big blinds. I mean, we don't mind this one. All right, good. This is massive. This is fucking huge. We're either gonna go up to 120 million or we're gonna go down to 70 million. So this is a big one. Ace jack, show me ace jack. Kings. Queen or ace or diamond? Queen, ace or diamond? Ah, I call the diamond in. The unnecessary diamond. Why I call that in? Why do I call the unnecessary diamond in? Why do I call the unnecessary diamond in? It's all right. We start the day with 75 million. We still have 75 million. We've had misfortune. We've had fortune. It's up and down. We're happy. We're okay about things. <sighs> That's a big one. We go to chip lead, if we win, we knock someone up, it's fine, you know, like we lose sometimes, we win sometimes, it's okay. Gonna raise the ace eight, good hand, ace is good. Come on, cram, not again. Don't cram it in again, let it go. We'll see, we'll take three folds here. Two folds is good. We don't mind the big blind, if the big blind calls, we'll play a pot. We don't wanna see much stuff going on over here from our, from our guys. Yeah, call. Peeler flicks in the call from the small blind, which is a relatively rare thing to see at this stage. We flop an ace, so I think we're going to check back. Bit of pot control. He's going to have ace nine, ace ten, ace jack, ace five, ace four. He tank checks, which is kind of strange to me. Uh, if he has king queen, he's drawn dead. Please do not let the king and the queen backdoors come in, but oh god, the king and the queen backdoors are coming in. Uh, if he checks the turn, We'll go for a bet ourselves. If he bets the turn, we'll call. We still beat a7, a6, a3, king, queen, queen, 10, nine, 10 of clubs, lots of hands we still beat. One of the reasons we check back is so that we can call down, but we don't want to face massive bets. But this is, this is a good enough bet to call. I have some decent information on him. So we're going to call. We don't want to see a club. We don't want to see a club. It's not a club, so that's good. We want to see a check. We want to see a check. Check it. Don't bet huge. Don't bet huge. Don't bet huge. Don't bet huge. He checked. Oh, the king. How do I call in the king queen? How do I call in the Oh, we're not scared of king queen. King queen's drawn dead. No, no problem. King queen can't beat me. We're going to check back and hopefully win here. Pocket freeze. Pocket freeze from our guy. Not a bad bluff, don't mind it. There's some, some merits behind that. Some merit. I just, now, problem here. Problem here is I've just shown down ace eight, so they're gonna think I'm spicy. And because I'm raising and because I'm spicy, and this guy feels quite spiced out because he raised ace eight, my pocket freeze with the best hand, free flop. Because of that, he may go a little bit banana. So because of that, a bit of meta game, a bit of dynamics, I'm gonna just go for a fold with the sixes here. Avoid avoid an awkward and unnecessary spot, I think. The big blind's quite shallow, we can't call him off. I like the fold. Sneeps in the chat box, saying we hit 1k on the goat. We love to see that. Thanks very much for all you guys going and subscribing. We love to see that. Can we get to 1.1k? If we can get up to 1.1k, we may get a video message from Chubbs. We may get Chubbs on the stream. We may let Chubbs play heads up for us. How much is heads up? Heads up is 140,000. If we get 2k subscribers, do we let Chubbs play the heads up? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. 
we shall see. All right, we have an all-in on the other table. Big, oh, what the, that, that was getting spicy. All-in and a fold on the other table. Oh, I saw queen. I know we have a queen. I think it's a queen. We have, a, we have at least a queen here, guys. A queen is not a bad first one to see. And we see two folds. I think Pula wants revenge. That's the problem. He may go after me big time here. He folds. Ego, my friend, my amigo. Don't you go for the... Uh, Oh, what's raise in Russian? The big blind with 10 big blinds. He has to fold. He doesn't want to risk his tournament life. He doesn't, he doesn't want to risk his tournament life. Fold. We could have ace queen or, or queen queen. Okay. One guy to go. 21 million. Just let it go. Just let it go. No shoves. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. He's tanking. He has 15 big blinds. Oh, queen three suited. All right, I don't think he has much boys and girls. We're gonna go for the raise. We're gonna go for the raisey daisy. We're gonna raise to 2.6 big blinds and put pressure to hand like queen six offsuit. Actually, we're gonna make it 2.7. Feel like that's more spicy. We're gonna raise a queen free suit. We, we want folds here. You can't hear the bell. You can't hear the bell. We really want folds. Does he smell blood? Does he smell blood from Russia? All the way from Russia. Surely he can't smell it from there. I'm too far away. He can't smell the blood. Let it go. Let it go. Four point. Ah, yeah, yee. Our hand is so pretty too. We're gonna just check. It. Ah, yeah, yee. Next time, Sav, if you're watching, next time you limp, I promise you, I'm not gonna raise you. Just don't go after me next time. I promise you. What does he have? How does he have a hand to you? So brutal. He has fifteen big blinds. How does he find a hand to limp? Sure. He just has aces. Like ace eight's gonna be all in. King Queen's gonna be all in. All these kind of hands all in. But it's okay, we have 80 million. We're, we're fine with this. We have a hand which could maybe play a pot, potentially. Down to 16, remember. The next page jump is at 13, a 5k pay jump. Good job we didn't shove. If we shoved, he would have had a trap in hand, obviously. So, yeah. Gonna fold the queen eight. Call queen ten suited. Queen five off in the small in the button. I may just let this one go. Step it down a gear. Step it down a gear. We have an all in on the other table. We're gonna get folds most likely. Bring it folds, most likely we do get folds. Savvy, savvy, savvy. Sa is Sav the enemy now? That's a question I have. Is Sav the enemy? I'm going to go for a raise of this one, actually. I lied to myself. I thought I had the discipline, but we don't know. It's a good hand. A queen is good, right? Queen beats the jack. I'm going to go for a raise. Get snap fold, which is good to see. We'd love the big blind to fold it to. Four, four, this, this is scary. 4,444,000. Yeah, we get the fold. Yeah, the ball. This is what I like. I like the small pots. The Pete Sampras's. You serve and you see that you volley. This is this is my philosophy on poker, actually. Small blind all in, big blind fold. We have a raise from a guy of seven big blinds, non all in. And that's an interesting thing to do. Because what do you want to raise two big blinds out of seven? You want to just go all in, usually you'll fold, right? So yeah. We have another all in over here. Interesting for the big blind here. Yeah, he had a really good prize, but like, is the guy bluffing? Or... Just get a fold. People think it's strong. Maybe it's a good spot to bluff. Everyone think, oh, all in. Ace, queen, nines. Jack, nine for the ladder. Nine on the river. 
That's insanity. We're down to 15. We have bold the six ball suited. We have a spicy guy in the big blind. And our hand doesn't love it. I'm gonna go for the fold. We have an all-in over here. Down to 16, remember. Get the fold through. A raise from Eldarian. Last time she had pocket kings on the button when she went all in. See what she has this time. She goes all in again. Probably gonna get folds most of the time. Gonna fold the king seven, of course. It's not a good hand. We have an all in on the other table. Jack ten against ace queen. Finds the double up, and the board was a pretty crazy board. Let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at this one. Jack ten against ace queen, and the board is ace king queen for 67 million chips. Leonardo, you hate to see it. Unlucky, my friend. Someone's asking to see the chip graph. I've never done this before. So this is my chip graph. You can see that I went really high up. I had a big day yesterday. This was the first day we build up, we build up, we build up. We have a really good day. We have some downs. We build that mountain back up. We have some downs. We raise the mountain back up again. We have some downs. And now anyone here is a Bitcoin. Now, I think that I'm a Bitcoin specialist because I'm a poker player and all poker players are Bitcoin specialists. Now, if I see this graph correctly, we have an up, a down, an up, a down. Realize the up is bigger as well. So we have a big up, a down, an even bigger up, a down, an even bigger up, a down. That, that to me, that to me means there's an upcoming. That means to me, I smell blood. I actually smell the blood. The blood is coming for the upswing. We have to just make sure we win the next one. That's what it's all about. We win the next one, we're flying, chip leader. We're fifth out of 15 right now. So we are guaranteed 11K. We're not gonna go for that one though. Queen four suited, not, a, not the one we wanted. We need to go back to sweating it out. I've been letting you guys down. We need to go back to sweating the cards out, I think. We need to get back to sweating these cards out because the morale is not high enough, I don't think. We need to be doing some more of this. We get some wretch. We need to get some wretch, wretch 32 back in the mixer. Last time it worked. Last time it worked. Fuck the action. Fire in the booth. Come on, Charlie. Yeah. Come on, Charlie. Give us that. <laughs> wow. Bet you ready after that, yeah? I'm good, man. You sure? <laughs> you want <you're laughs> <really, you're> to <laughs> sit down for a minute? <laughs> Is that a brief off? Yeah, I'm nice. <laughs> That when you hear that, Lately, you hear that. Never so close. Feeling spirits while I'm driving. I should get me a ghost. Growing up, they know the difference between the road and my home. Now I'm grown. I'm trying to buy every home on my road. Take away been over rinsed. I need a chef to come and live with me. Last time I picked up a pot, I nearly killed a fiend. I don't see a pot and rapper out there that can mirror me. When I gave my kidneys to these kids, they must be kidding me. Yeah. Remember playing Operation? Yeah. That's how I feel about these compilations. Think they're the next Dr. Dre until they lose their patience. Saying the game's in a statement, that's an understatement. I mean, how much more gems can I drop on the future? How much of my fans might just not buy my new stuff? We've all got bars, but nobody hears a brew. I'm bringing sandwich to the beach, and in the hope of finding tuna. This is nonsense. Past tense. I'm a rap genius. I've passed sense. So if you ain't got a 2-1, and you ain't free to, you got a brief.
graduate before you pass Rex We got off on the wrong foot because you half step Meanwhile, I'm getting restless because I can't rest 21 hours on the way, the other three I'm in a daze Writing what to say with my last breath Can you not- Let's go I'm ready now for the upswing Ready for the upswing Big blind, not a big blind special, unfortunately. Not a big blind special, unfortunately. We may get a walk. Last time we punished the limp. We have to punish the limp again. I just told them I'm not going to, but I lied. I am going to punish him this time. We may get another walk. Come on, Sav. Not again, my friend. Not again. Do I give him some chat box? Do I give him a little smiley emoji? Mind blowing. Violin? Violin's not a bad one. Okay. We have the six do so we're not we're not gonna let him see a flop this time. It's always it's always scary when you type in the size in here. We're gonna steal. We're gonna go for the raise. Do we get through? It doesn't need to work very often. It didn't work last time. Maybe he's onto us. Maybe he realizes that we're just punishing too much here. Just let it go. How can you find another limp show here? It would be, be mind-blown. I'd have to type a mind-blown emoji in here. I'm ready for it, though. I feel it. Don't do it, Sav. Don't do it, Sav. There we go. 1-1 one, one versus Russia. 1-1 one, one versus Russia. We like that. No mind-blowing. Take that out. Chubb reckons he's in his in his in his trackie. Have you seen the new trackie? That's the thing. The the merch that we have for Newcastle Independent. If you haven't subscribed, go to the description. Subscribe to Newcastle Independent. But if you haven't seen it, the merch is so exclusive. We can literally only get twenty items. We can't even do this like viral and sell it because it's too. It's too good. Like it's genuinely like world class. Like we can't sell it. It's like we just have to get enough for the team. So people who ask for merch and stuff. Like, we literally can't do it. We'd love to sell merch and, you know, pay for Christmas and stuff, but we literally can't. Like, it's just too, it's too, it's too out there. Maybe if we win this tournament, we may give away one merch. May give Chubbs' hoodie, Chubbs' merch, vintage, that'll sell. Trust me, that'll sell in 50 years for a lot of money. Vintage Chubbs merch. Love it. Uh, A7, we're going to raise on the button. We have a good hand here. I think they've maybe sourced raised the queen five. That's okay. Let's see what happens. We have a raise from Pila, and we're going to get out of town now. Can I, the question is, can I go to the, can I go to the bathroom, finish in the bathroom, wash my hands, you know, coronavirus, and get back before the next time? I think I can. Let's go. BRB. We're back. Composure. Santan Dave. William Nisho. Pads1161. One, one, one. We've got the composure. I'm going to raise the jack nine. Maybe you should have missed the hand. Maybe I was supposed to take longer. I only washed one hand. I only needed to, you know, like, I don't think that's controversial. I think you don't always need to wash them both if you're in a hurry. Easier. You just have to dry one way, you know. Just, just, just too much. Can I, can I delete that from the stream? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to fold this jack nine. Ah. Smell some blood. Smell some blood over here of the Ace King. 
this guy goes all in, we're happy. Okay, he doesn't go all in. We're still happy. If this guy goes all in, we're happy. We're going to dominate a lot of his hands. Someone got knocked out on the other table. We're down to 15. Maybe we're already down to 15. We're going to raise the ace king. If one of these guys free bet us, we're going to be all in. We're happy to play for all the marbles with this one. If Bram goes all in, a little bit dicey. A little bit dicey, but we have such a good hand. Ace king. Big pot it would be, but not sure we would fold. Free bet, not all in, we'll go all in. If small blind free bets to 15 million, we're going to wager all of our chips. He calls. Maybe big blind puts in a 20 million raise. Maybe he builds a pot first. Come on, Pila. Find 21 million. 21 million. It's not a bad spot to do it for him. Honestly, it's not a bad spot. Don't go all in or something crazy. We may go 21 million. 16 million is good enough for us. We're going to risk all the bananas here. We're risking all the biscuits. And we want to fold. Remember here, we don't want to get caught. We want to win 26 million. We don't want to play 200 million pot here. Ah, we need folds, boys and girls, but we're going to go with it. Ace King's good enough for us. Fold. We need folds from Pila. Don't have aces. Don't have aces, Pila. It's a good spot for him. All right. No aces for Pila. No aces. No snap calls. Good. Fold queens, maybe. He's not folding queens against us, is he? Not folding queens. This, he's giving us a sweat. Give us a sweat. If you have a bluff, let me sweat this one out with you. Oh my god, he calls queens. Ace or king? Quads. Death by quads. Death by quads. It's all over. It's all over. It's all fucking over. We play 177 million chip pot. Ace king suited. The dream spot. The dream spot. We have to go for it, you know, like we have Ace King, a fucking great hand, amazing hand, suited. We can get in against Ace King off, maybe folds jacks, you know, lots of good stuff can happen. Oh, 177 million. Second place has 112. We'd be such a big chip leader. We'd be down to 14. Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm composed. I'm William Nisho. I'm Santan Devil. I should have went to the bathroom for longer, really. Would have would have would have missed the Ace King, would have thought I was unlucky, but really your luck comes in weird ways. But yeah. 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 Sad. Sad, but not too sad. You know, not angry. It is what it is. I'm chill. You know. If we win that pot, we very, very, very likely, you know, win 250k or more. But you know, like I had to win pots to get to this stage too. Like I got it in as an underdog when I was supposed to lose. I got aces against jacks when he could have had aces and I could have had jacks. You know, there's so much ways where tournaments work out. Like at the end of the day, at the end of the day here, I cashed for 11.7K. Uh, you know, I bought in for $100, you know, made 11.5K. It's, it's not the end of the world. Of course, it could go better. Of course, we could win this pot. Of course, he could fold. Like we don't really want to play these huge all-in pots. You know, we'd rather have the ace sevens and just get the folds kind of thing. But it just it is what it is. Uh, kind of sad not to have the sweat. You know, you'd like to have the sweat of the all-in, but it's okay. Honestly, like I'm completely fine. I'm not angry. Not sad. I did everything I could do. I played as well as I could play. I made good folds, good raises, good good checks, good whatever. Like I wouldn't change a single hand, which I complain. Usually, if you finish a tournament and say that I wouldn't change anything, you can't be too too disappointed. It's a little bit like football, you know, like if you played really well and you just got unlucky or the ball kept it in the bar or the other player got lucky or the referee gave a bad decision, then you can't be angry. Like you did everything you could do. So uh, yeah, I mean, thanks a lot for everyone who was tuned in. I have literally no idea how to finish the stream. <laughs> I have no idea how to finish the stream. Uh, I don't want to end it now. So I'm going to wait with you guys until I bust uh, before I exit the stream because that would be quite a sad way to finish it. Uh, but yeah, it's completely okay. I needed to finish. I can go cry ASAP. Uh, if you guys, do you guys want me to stream more on YouTube? I definitely don't want to go into Twitch. Twitch is dead. Like Twitch is not for me. The adverts and stuff, it's not good. Like actually, I, you see, I don't have, I shouldn't have, you shouldn't have had to click any adverts here. Like I don't want to like monetize this kind of stuff. Like it's just literally for the phone and for building stuff up, etc. So hopefully, hopefully you haven't been like, push through ads and stuff because that's definitely not my intention 
Uh, but yeah, going to just wait it out with you. If you want me to stream again tournaments, or if you tell me other things you may want me to stream, I could I could maybe do it. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Am I still supposed to be talking? We're doing to talk about the weather. Newcastle Independent. If for the bad luck, you can go and subscribe to Newcastle Independent, surely. Give the guys some love. Someone's someone's not enjoying my hundred dollar IKEA chair. It's not too good. People who are worrying about the bathroom, my bathroom is literally like here. It's it's here. It's not a long run. This guy, how of his pocket queens, 200 million. I had so many notes as well on him, exactly how he plays and how he plays different hands and what he calls with and what he folds with. And I was prepared for the, prepared for the wall, but he got me. Yeah. Just watching now on stream, watching the, the bad news come in. Big, big money, 400 the more The more you think about it, the, the more painful it gets, you know? It's all good, though. I'm just watching that. I mean, I can watch it with you guys, right? Stream across. If you want to just watch the pain twice, you can watch the pain twice. Oh, such a good spot for the big blind to bluff as well. Such a good spot for him to bluff. Like, I'm opening so wide, he's flattened so wide, or he's not flat, really strong hands, can put so much pressure on. It's such an effective size in two, because if I have jack nine suited, I'm going to fold versus a size in. So it's like a really nice, cheap size, and he risks 14 million to win 12 million. It's going to work so often. I have to basically shove, shove or fold most of the time. It puts me into a really dicey situation. So it's a nice size in from him. Uh, yeah, so I was loving it. I was really loving the situation. If he shoved, I would have folded. Like if he just shoved queens one time for whatever reason, I would have folded my hand. I also wouldn't have shoved jacks. I wouldn't have shoved tens. I would have shoved kings, que kings, aces, ace, king. I would have flat tens and I would have flat jacks as well. So and why am I standing up? What the fuck am I doing? Why am I standing up here? It's ridiculous. Sit down. Sit down, chill out, be composed, be William Nisho, be Santan Dave. Like, I don't, all right, cross my arms. What's going on? From the outside, I see myself as this chill guy. He's tanking now, I'm loving it. I'm like, he's gonna fold. Death by quads. I took it okay though. Proud of that. Got a smile. That's all right. Took it okay. Nice to see you guys in the chat. Nice, nice to see the love. G G G G G G. You know, in these tournaments, the lucky thing is you're gonna go deep once every twenty thousand years. So maybe in another lifetime, another universe, we will be at the same place. This what it is. The course pads on pads will be coming in a couple of weeks, definitely. BeGambleAware.org. Play responsibly. I like all of that stuff. Um, but yeah. It is what it is. I'm going to end the stream now. So thanks so much for being in the mixer. Um, yeah. This guy, Franco, like, I'll play and get some coaching. Like, so funny. Like, I honestly, these people, these people I don't get, like, angry or negative about. Like, just if you're going to copy and paste, copy and paste, just, like, seriously be with your family or something like that uh you know don't focus on other people so much but yeah do you do you you do you um yeah should i make him a mod should we make franco a mod make him a mod maybe we can get him here i can't add moderator nah, we'll, we'll leave him for now but yeah i'm gonna end the stream now thanks so much for anyone who was in the mixer I'm gonna end this and yeah thanks once again and maybe see you in another stream
Gunish asked, do I press Discord stream or not? 